Hello guys, Daniela here. Um, in this episode we're going to build something very useful for a friend. It can be useful also for you maybe. It's a TV hanger, this one. But first, I need to tell you a story. My boxing coach has a very very cool gym here in Amsterdam and he recently moved to a bigger place where I built something for him and then we were discussing on the final details that were missing on the, on the gym and this TV hanger came out and he said I'm gonna buy one and in the same conversation uh, he told me he has this uh, charity thing so in Uganda he bought a, a piece of land and he built a school on it and he's paying for the for the fees for the teachers and he's buying the books and uh, all the uniforms and uh, all the material that 30 kids are uh, in the need for um, in order to complete their uh, their study course so he's giving a better education to these kids just because he comes from there he knows the place and he knows these kids are in disadvantage so this is pretty awesome and so when he told me so I said you know what we do I'm gonna build the TV hanger for you and you send this money to the kids because it's gonna cost you at least 80 or 100 euros to buy a decent one and he was happy about it and after that I had an even better idea which involves you guys so we can increase this amount of money you don't have to actively put your hands in the pocket you don't have to do anything like that what I'm asking you to do is a few clicks if you share or like share and like and, and, and this video and, and subscribe to my channel I will monetize more and everything that will be monetized on this video will go to the kids in Uganda so I'm not gonna touch any money that I will get from this video and it's really up to you guys my audience and my potential audience it's really up to you how much money we can get so the more you share the more you like the more you comment the more you subscribe to my channel the more money will get in so I'm not gonna be a hypocrite about this everybody is earning something about this and that will and will have some visibility for, for his gym I will have some uh, visibility and growing numbers for my channel and the kids will have more money to study which is good it's great for everyone so now let's get to the actual building process. For this project, I'm using again some stuff that I had lying around in a shop. Some steel square piping, a 28mm dowel, a big beam that I picked up in a construction site that will serve as the main piece of it, and two pipe shaped clips that will go around the dowel. This beam is full of grease because I was using it to work on the car sometimes, but we will clean it up somehow. Then we will cut two pieces of dowel beefy enough to hold the TV so then we can place them on the beam and how this is gonna work is the two pieces of steel square tubing are going to be screwed directly on the back of the TV and the two clips that are going around the dowels are going to be attached to them so then we can put everything in the back on the TV and then slide the two clips into the dowels the first thing to do is to cut to size the square tubing so I measure 40 centimeters because on the back of the TV from the left to the right nut is 30 centimeters so then I can keep 5 centimeters of margin on each side after the cut we can clean up the edges with the Dremel and then we can mark the second one and repeat the operation. Now we mark the center of the bar and then we measure the distance between the holes of the clip. So then we can set half of that size on the caliper. And with that distance set we use the sharp tips of the caliper to mark the exact location of the holes. After that, we can put the clip on the bar and check if we can see the marks through the holes. Now we need to find the center of the bar and on top of the two marks we did before, we have to tap the holes location, which then we will drill. And 
and also 5 cm from the left and the right side, we need to drill two holes that will host the bolt that will go on the back of the TV. Be careful when drilling metals, especially steel. The ideal would be to have a drill press, which I do, but I have a bit of experience and I feel comfortable drilling by hands. If possible, use a drill press and some lubricant. Now, let's check the general fitment of everything. And it looks like there's a big gap between the clip and the metal bar. So, we can solve this problem using three 2mm washer for each side. Now we can tighten the whole thing, and then we can check the fitment again. At this point we have to cut the dowels and I chose a total of 13 cm, 3 to slide the clips and 10 to secure the dowel to the beam. This beam has definitely seen better days before, so now we will have to clean it up with a jointer. If you don't have one, you can use a hand planer or sanding paper. The result will be the same, but it will just take a bit longer. This machine was cheap, but it does a very nice job. Problem is that I didn't connect the dust collector because the pipe was too big. And now it looks like my shop exploded. After sanding the edges, it's time to mark the holes on the dowels. I chose a distance of 6 cm between the screws, so 2 cm from each edge. Then, using the vise, I'm sure that the holes will be aligned. And then after that, I can countersink them. We need some thickness to allow the clips to slide into the dowels, and a 10 cm, 3 mm thick piece of aluminum will work perfectly. I quickly clean up the edges so I don't get cut, and with a smaller bit, align the dowel and the piece of aluminum and mark the holes locations. After that, we need to drill the holes, and I'm using two pieces of scrap wood glued together, so the piece will not spin if it gets stuck on the drill bit. Now I mark the center of the beam and find the center of the dowel, so we can make a mark on it to align it with the beam. Then put the screws on the holes so the tip will protrude a bit further than the aluminum. Align carefully and then mark the location of the holes. Then I drill the holes that will host the screws and assemble everything. The alignment is pretty good. And now we have to repeat the process for the second dowel. So we measure 29.5 cm, which is the vertical distance between holes on the back of the TV.
everything is aligned and now I want to cut out the rest of the balls. And cut some reliefs for the balls on the beam. so the rotation radius will be increased. It's done and it will be painted black by the owner before installation. Ok guys, so this concludes our charity build. It's for a good cause so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and be aware that the more you do, the more money we collect for the kids. Thank you for watching and to the next episode.